Sup fans, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another quick spoiler free and spoiler review of Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Coming up right now, you guys enjoy the show. All right guys, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action, boom. Now if, you guys, now if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, make sure to share, press the bell for notifications because it helps channel a lot. And I fucked it up, but I don't care because, uh, whatever. <laughs> Shazam! Fury of the Gods is basically a story of Billy Batson finding the three sisters because ever since he broke the staff from the first movie, well, now they can enter and get their powers back and try to get the staff and all stuff just so, and then they could come in and try to not really conquer the world, but try to plant this, this tree to harvest. Well, and then a couple of disagreements with the sisters kind of leads to another conflict there. And well, it's up to Billy Batson and his family to well stop them while also finding a cool dynamic of family. That is not a Fast and Furious, actually kind of is. So that is my terrible plot synopsis of the film. That's going to the review. This is going to be the spoiler free section of the film and review. And I got to say, I really dug this movie. I actually left this movie a bit teary eyed, a little choked up because I, I love the, the one thing, the biggest thing for me that stole this show from this movie is the family dynamic between Billy and his family and especially his adopted mother. I just love the relationship and oh man it's it's just it's just freaking great man I love Billy here I love his I love everybody I also just love Freddie's relationship with Athea who is played by Raquel Zegler and I really like their cute dynamic too and I also like that Athea is the more likable character of the sisters but Helen Mirren oh shit she's she was great Lucy Lou is great too they were all there yeah Lucy Lou's generic when it comes to villainy, you kind of expect it with comic movies now, but man, I, Helen Mirren, man, I, I love her so much, man. She's just great in this film, man. She was a lot of fun. Zachary Levi as the adult version of Shazam. Well, of course, he is fantastic. I think he's way more goofier and a bit more immature here than in the first movie. And before I get, before I continue, this is, in my opinion, this is not as good as the first one. I mean, the first one is one of my favorite DCE comic book films of all time, actually, the first Shazam. And this one, uh, it's not as good, but I still really, really love it. And that is, that is really good. The pacing is pretty cool. There are some slow moments here and there. Yeah, but slow moments, like, why am I doing this? Slow moments here and there, but it, but it, again, I'd say it still helps the plot a bit, but the movie just picks itself right back up and the action is good. Some of the CGI looks very shoddy, especially with the, some of the scary moments near the end of the film. Uh, overall, the, the action is really good. The, the CGI is pretty good. The score is pretty cool. The can, there's some cameos here and there is really cool. The, but man, again, I gotta go back. Is this, and those, the wizard. I love the wizard so much. He was, he's so bad. I love him. He gets more to do here than in the first one. But I gotta say the family dynamic, that's the one thing that really, really, I felt this movie really worked, man. I really dug this a lot. And I gotta say the ending didn't make me feel choked up because again, the family dynamic just, in my opinion, led up to that. And it was just emotional, man. Even though there's something happens in the end, which is like, whatever, but uh, I mean, what can you do? So yeah, really not much to say about this movie. I know that not a lot of people have seen this movie, so hopefully this spoiler review helps out. If you guys still want to check it out, I really recommend it. So with that, I'll give Shazam! Fury of the Gods 4 out of 5 stars, man. I, this is actually one of the better combo movies out there, in my opinion. It was just hella fun, man. And with just a slew of just, um, you know, here and there, bumpy roles with Marvel and even DC, in, in my opinion. I say this is one of the better films out there and it's a lot of fun. It's a movie that you just want to sit down and watch your family with. Now let's get on to the spoiler section. So, uh, the ending, it's <laughs> do ex machina, as um, Alexander Robinson would say. Um, so basically, Billy does die at the end of this film. And then they have this sad, I actually got choked up there. I actually got still very, very choked up. Sad uh, funeral for him. And then an older woman comes in and just, well, revives him and she gets she helps them get their powers back and she also helps the the garden the garden of for the for athena <laughs> and it's dumb it's a little like ha like a nice little uh, you know es escape from having a sad ambitious ending in my opinion that could have been because billy's death was really good and i wouldn't mind him staying dead but then again you really don't want him to be dead because shit <laughs> i mean i love billy batson and 
Well, it, it's it's a it's a it's basically it's a, one of those endings where it just kind of just uh, kind of does feel half ass, but it's very nice to see Gal Gadot back as Wonder Woman as she still kills it in my opinion. Uh, the action, the fight with the dragon at the end was great. And also, again, I'm going to talk about some of the shoddy CGI. A lot of the demon, especially the unicorns, they look hella fake. But then again, I got to say, I like that Skittles. I like that they use Skittles as a cute little MacGuffin or a little solution for it. I really like it. I, I love Skittles. I love Skittles. Smoothie flavored are my favorite. Are my, they're my favorite. Uh, mango flavor. Mango smoothie flavor is my favorite. But I like that they use Skittles and all that stuff. But, and, the, and also the final fight is so cool. I like that he freaking, that freaking Billy calls... Lucy Liu, who becomes the main villain, and because Helen Mirren, you know, she comes to her senses, but she kind of gets stabbed by gets stabbed by the dragon from uh, for from Lucy Liu. I like that that he calls her. <laughs> oh my God, what was her name? I believe he calls her Daenerys. I need to look at the clip again, but and I could just probably correct myself right here. Daenerys, Danny from Game of Thrones, who was the the, the dragon queen <laughs> from uh, from Game of Thrones, and. I thought that was really funny. I like that little jab. Also, also the humor doesn't always work all the time, but I like. I think it works fine. And I like that um, Pedro's coming out moment in the movie. I liked it. It was. I thought it was handled so well. It was funny and cute and charming. I also love David F. Sandberg's. Uh, he gets killed kind of on screen right there. He makes a cameo with the director David F. Sandberg. I love David F. Sandberg. So, yeah. And again, like a lot of the demon characters. <laughs> They look fucking scary and yeesh, hopefully the younger kids don't get scared by that. So yeah, that is, that's just gonna wrap up my, my review. So that is my review for Shazam Fury. The guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching my video. So let me know down in the comments down below. Have you guys seen Shazam Fury, the guides? What you guys think of it? Please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your opinions on it. So this is Javi from Javi Productions signing off and hope you guys enjoyed the show.